Oh, down I. I oh, we sacrificed that. Yes, deck action. <laughs> Perfect. Gain the life. <laughs> Gain the life. Untap this. Untap it. And you, there's Sir. We fight. No, he's gonna sacrifice this. No, he sacrifice the spider. He dies. So he needs us to ship the last card. Oh, what? What is that? It's a big dude. Oh my God. Talk shrill. The corrosive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me just... Oh, this is Menace, by the way. <laughs> Got him. What is our win con, you ask? What is your win con, I ask? Because, <laughs> yes, we're playing one more of those decks. We just takes over our opponent's permanence, and that's because we got, of course, new tools in Kamigawa Neon Dynasty to do that. We weren't actually able to fit all of the cards in this archetype into the deck, because there's so many of them, but we put in the best ones. So one of the coolest cards, which I actually haven't played with for some reason on this channel, I think is Grafted Identity. It's an old card, but it has as an additional cost to cast a spell, you sacrifice a creature, enchant a creature, uh, and then enchant a creature, plus one, plus one. So, what you want to do with this, of course, is that you want to play enchantments for two, which are sagas which turn into creatures. Why, you might ask? Well, the thing is, if you just play a creature and your opponent kills that creature, you can't play Grafted Identity. But if you play the Modern Age or Life of Toshiro Umesaba, on your turn four, you're gonna get a creature, and if you only play a land and the land doesn't gain, gain you life, which unfortunately the this small backwater does here, then you can play Grafted Identity before they even have a chance to uh, kill your creature, because you will have priority before they get to do anything, which is amazing, because then you can guarantee that you get off Grafted Identity. On your turn 4, you can play either the Modern Age or Life of the Shiro Umesawa. Uh, Life of the Shiro Umesawa I actually haven't seen before. It's really good, I feel like. It's kind of a removal piece. If you're up against an aggressive deck, it's really, really good. Target creature gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn. You choose 1, by the way. Or a creature gets plus 2, plus 2, or you gain 2 life. And then you exile it, and then it returns into Memory of Toshiro, which can, you can pay 1 life and add 1 black mana, which can only use to cast Instant Sorcery Spell, which is perfect, because you have very, very expensive Instant Sorcery Spells, or Sorcery Spells. You have Invoke the Winds, where you can gain control of target artifact or creature, which is very good, because now you can take over their vehicles and stuff like that also, if you want to, and untap it. And we have Invoke the Spear also, because if we play Invoke the Spear with Turgrid, we can get so many permanents from our opponent. That is that is the dream, but we are not gonna let our memes be dreams. We are, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try it out, so uh, th that's the reason we're playing Invoke the Spear. Uh, we also have Tempted by Uric, which can take over something with mana value 3 or less. And we have Soul Shatter, because of course Soul Shatter is really, really good with Turgrid. And uh, I, I think that's pretty much the deck, everybody. Jump into the games. Okay, so simple math there. If almost every card of our card <laughs> takes one of his cards, how can he even win? How can they even win against this? We'll find out. We'll have to uh, do something amazing, I think. Because I think this, <laughs> this concept is so good. Again, another uh, little bit of a noob concept, I would say. This is... <laughs> A trap everyone <laughs> falls in, I think, when they start playing Magic. Everybody wants to create a deck like this. Oh my god! It happened. Life of Toshiro Umesawa is gonna be so good. Yeah, yeah, you go, buddy. You go away. You sleep now. <laughs> Are we gonna get a 3 for 1 with this? Ah, okay. Really. That would've been cool, though. It would've been cool if it did. Okay. And we are going to gain 2 life. Noise. And uh, get another life point there. And definitely Modern Age here. The Modern Age. You think we're gonna get more value out of life of... I think maybe not. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Man, if we could fit in Madness would be so greedy. But if we could fit in White also and play that card which returns every enchantment from our graveyard. Oof, that could be in this deck also. It would be so freaking good. Okay, Toshiro Umezawa, and let's see here, what are we gonna ship? Are we going to ship the Schlestos? I think actually we might ship the Schlestos, because I don't, oh no, because now we can't play Invoke the Winds anytime soon, but, uh, but on the other hand though, <laughs> do we even want to? Do we even want to do it just? Don't we just want to play this? And gain life for the first time and create a white cat? No, no. Corsa Lebrant. Corsa Lebrant! That's what we want. Big Corsa Lebrant. 2 5. And then next turn we take over this, I think. Or we Soul Shattered, maybe. 
Oh, that, that thing, I want that thing! <laughs> I want that now! Okay, we get live, that's perfect. It's amazing, amazing. Okay, exile the saga. Perfect, perfect. Gain a life point, amazing, amazing. Actually, we are missing a little bit of lands here, but everything else is feeling really good right now, so. <laughs> I don't really have a problem with this. Okay. Let's back in. Whatever their strat- what is your strategy, you might ask? Whatever their strategy is, is also our strategy. <laughs> With a deck like this, that's just- That's just how things are. Man, we should have shipped the Celestas, though. Ooh, okay. Mal Claro class, though. Lenore Quetra and- No, wait, you should have played this. No, no, you don't have anything which against your life, so okay. Makes sense. Counts on there. The Hell of Priest there in the graveyard, so. That's good. Every hand just looks amazing when you play this deck. Every hand just looks freaking amazing, just give it. Invoke Despair, Celestus, and on top of all of it, just move back one. <laughs> the mere healing! Healing! Kill a chicken now. Woodland Chasm. Okay, what it calls. Three, so far. Hortels is gonna board wipe. It's gonna board wipe nothing, that doesn't make any sense. But I've seen weirder plays. Actually, I think we go for. Blue here? Uh, cause we have uh, a lot of black anyways. So we're gonna be able to play the Invoke Despair. Gonna check him. Okay. New mana though. Uh, yeah, okay. Has to be a lot of board wipes. <laughs> Being for taller, that's fine. Absolutely fine. We could just Invoke Despair to draw three cards. I think we played... <sighs> if we know he has board wipes. But he doesn't have double white yet though. So we could probably just play Turgrid. No, now he has double white. Now he has double white. Now he has double white, you say. That's true. That's true, yeah, he does have double white. White. <laughs> double white. <laughs> I mean, what else would he be foretelling here if it wasn't a board wipe? I think we need to go for Lantern. I, I mean, I hate doing this, but I just don't want this to just die and do nothing. And if he's like a slow control deck, this is gonna be annoying for him, I think. Slowly shipping away with the lantern. Slowly, slowly. We're gonna do a silly board wipe. We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything, man. Not doing anything. No, 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 no. Can I also, also draw a little card here? Definitely gonna take that action. Uh, Volving Wilds, I don't think we're gonna need it since we are going to. Uh, we actually needed it to play this. No, we didn't need it. It's cost five. It's only five manas. Dirt cheap, I say. Um, I play the invoke despair. Get rid of this Claire Claus and draw double cards. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, yeah, I'm just. Is that a ten? Just from invoking a little bit of despair. I feel like you need to have something really good now. Like we can. This deck can deal with anything. We can deal with creatures. Can deal with artifacts. We can deal with planeswalkers. What can they even do? Okay, Jacob! How can the inspector? I mean, that thing we do want. That is. Um, that's true. Do want that thing. Well, oh, also we can use this to, with our own lantern here if we want it. I don't know when we would do that or why we would do that, but if you just want more, one more. Act Wait, we can just untap it with four also. Okay, I don't think it, there will ever be a scenario where we untap our own lantern with this, but. I don't know. Maybe if you copy this spell many times, it's a copy effect, the brother? I don't know. Blood of the snow! It's gonna kill his own Jacob Hawken inspector, though. No. He's instrument of the bards. And. Yep, I knew it was a Doom Scar. I knew it was, okay? Take action. Uh, you think you're gonna end the permanent that we're not gonna take? Nope. That's ours. <laughs> That's ours! We can take any permanent! Any permanent at any time! Kill a chicken! <laughs> That's just how we roll! So this do now. So you like for a creature card? Oh, we want a value equal to the harm. Okay, so we need to wait for five turns and then activate it and search for a target. Amazing! Or oh, can we activate it though? Yeah, we can, because we have green there. Yeah, it's not a problem. Lot left, unfortunately. And we could in response to this kill lot left. So that's good. But douche is gone. Nice, and we are gonna put a counter on you. 
And I mean, we're certainly gonna play. We play Turbin now. I think we play Turbin. And we force him. Are we gonna go down lower, buddy? Are we gonna go down lower? That's the question. Are we gonna discard a card? Okay. Well, you can also sacrifice a permanent. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> sure, you can do that also. You can sacrifice a permanent. Sure. That's a possibility. I think he has a board wipe. Very likely. Has a board wipe. No, do it, Joss. Okay. Levels it up. Plays an additional land, maybe. I don't think the last card is a land, though. Ah, maybe it is. Okay. Is land? Is last card land? Last card a land. Kill me, okay? Put him on that harmony counter. I mean, now we can force him into a bad spot. If we want to. With this, we can double untap, right? Alright. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go down lower, buddy. I'm gonna go down to no HP. If you guys untap this. Yeah. Yeah. He could just sacrifice the spider or the group class also. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, oh, we sacrificed that. Yes, take action. <laughs> Perfect. Gain the life. <laughs> Gain the life. Untap this. Untap it. And you, there, sir. Are you fight. No, he's gonna sacrifice this. No, he sacrifices spider. He dies. So he needs to. Uh, Ship the last card. Oh, what, what is it? It's a big dude! Oh my god! Toxrill, the corrosive! <laughs> oh, let me just... Oh, this is menace, by the way. <laughs> got him! Every hand has a sun. Just happiness when you play this deck. Tempted by Auric. Sacrifice whatever we take over. Into grafted identity. Yes! Yes, please. Perfect. Perfect. Cannot complain. It's getting better. Celestus on top of this. Beautiful. Oh, by the way, we have memes. <laughs> we have so many great memes. So many great memes. Um, ooh, modern age. Oh, what are we gonna ship though? Every card is good. Why are we playing modern age when every card is good? Right? Can we get a shit card, please? <sighs> every card is so good. Actually, we can't really use crafted identity now. Oh my God, though. No. We can't now. We can use it. Tempted by Auric, I think, goes. We can use it with the Modern Age when it flips. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Vengeful Reaper, though. Do you fear the Reaper? Do you fear the Reaper, must I? Okay, go this card. Uh, the Mirror Healing, you ask? Mirror Healing is great. <laughs> mirror Healing is great, great, but we don't need it right now. Uh, so we need main. Now, here's the awkward part. What to select with clear water pathway? We both invoke the wind. I think invoke the spare is better. I think. So we're gonna go Celestus. And then we'll see if we go Graft by the Empty. Yes, and then we we'll go invoke the spare turn after. I mean. If you only have one permanent, I'd rather just take it over. <laughs> I'm freaking down with it. Now what I mean. I'm down with it. I'm freaking down with it. Does this have lifelink? No. Flying the East. I could have uh, seen that by his life total, I guess, but well, a smart guy like that. He'll figure things out. By the way, uh, Jason Dennis read it, okay. No Edgar! I don't think I've read this! I, I, I mean, I've read this myself, but I don't think I've read it out loud yet, <laughs> so... No Edgar! Small shark. Your Edgar! A little bit bigger. My personal, personal preference here would be changing the, the place of no Edgar and your Edgar. <laughs> that would be more of a... More smack talking, okay? My Edgar is bigger than your Edgar, that makes sense. That is a little bit of... It's very nice. Chris's Edgar is very big. I, I don't know if this is the truth, but I know that the last part here is the truth. Jason Dennis's Edgar doesn't lose to any other Edgar. It's just the biggest Edgar. <laughs> if you've seen Jason Dennis lose at anything, you have... Wasn't Jason Dennis. That's for show. That's for show. Uh, well, now we kind of need to go invoke the spare. Because so we need to get rid of both a creature and a enchantment, so we get rid of the rainy class. Right? Right. And then we could block this, but we're not gonna block this. Uh, we're gonna take it over. We're gonna take it freaking over. Oh my god, Soja. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Vengeful Reaper, though. 
I'm going for a big, big damage here. We don't have. Oh, we actually have a little bit of healing in this deck. Oh, I think my. Oh my god, everybody's. Okay. Scale the heights. Four or five. Badoosh! Now the eleven. We're gonna invoke the spear. No! No, no, no. We're gonna save that. Let's save that for when we have uh, the turbine now. Put this down. 5-6, uh, Death Touch Haste Flying, that's pretty nice. Uh, what color do we need? Black, black. Uh, we have a quad black, we don't have uh, quad blue, actually. Uh, right, black, 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 yeah. Okay. No! Okay, what are you take, though? Celestus or Vengeful Reaper? Or, or that make, makes sense to take, yes. <laughs> I guess. But we can play another Invoker. Look at this, just clear up everything. Badoosh! Preacher, enchantment, everything else goes. Invoke this bear. And the game has frozen, okay. Not responding. Are we gonna have to ca contact Microsoft? I think I'll have to restart the client again. Because uh, when I don't do this, uh, we need to be fast. <laughs> so, really fast. Because when this happens, usually it just passes your turn and sometimes you lose because of that. So that's, a, that's just really good. Uh, okay, loading into the game. Come on. Can we get in before it passes our turn? I think it auto passes very fast if your opponent is disconnected. Come on now. Come on, game. Game, don't give him a freebie. Don't give him a freebie when we're crushing him. Ah! Going. You have the perfect card. Okay. Give me a penny. Yeah, I think we're probably timing out at this point. Wait, please see the battlefield. Thank you very much. Okay. There's things died. That's great. It's gonna play a big dude. That'd be amazing if it did. Yes! Draw a card from the Owlbear? Shouldn't the Owlbear, if I remember correctly, they have like... Um... Uh, I think keep up the Soul Shadow. Oh, maybe we should have played Turgrid. Turgrid plus... We can actually have played Turgrid plus Soul Shadow and drawn a card from the Owlbear. That would have been so much better. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, because we want that instead. <laughs> just kidding, everybody. Just kidding, okay. Okay, I mean, I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly what it should be. On our side of the board, yes. Uh, thank you very much. We'll keep up the other soul shatter here. Not too sad about the situation. Looking pretty good. Is that another spider? Sure. And Grackmaw, I think uh, before you play that. Take care of your uh, central spider. I want that on our side of the board. Definitely. Badoosh. And yes. Our side of the board. Everything on our side of the board. Everything. <laughs> now we're gonna get a lot of treasures, I think. A lot of Oh, wait. We kill him. Still. 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 And I'm a meme here. When you only have removal, every hand looks good. And then it's the damnation. <sighs> Oh, the attention, the detail, damnation, so good! Such a good card. I don't know if it would be as good as it used to be. If it was printed now in standard. Like, I feel like they could definitely just print it no problem right now in standard, but I don't think it would... ...change much, honestly. I mean, it's a good card, sure. But, like, now it feels like every board wipe gets a board wipe plus something. We're so spoiled. <laughs> We're so spoiled. You remember when I was a kid? Do you remember when I was a kid? Yes, maybe for the same age you remember when I was a kid. <laughs> okay. Impassion the Raider. Man, should we kill that thing? Or should we play Celestus? Problem is we have an ice tunnel. So probably we should keep up the soul shatter. Ah, oh, man. Man. Problem with having such a big brain as myself is uh, come up with all these smart plays. Sometimes you just do. Sometimes you just do. I'll praise that. No. 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 The writer goes. I'll praise that. Man, Can we get the Umasawa now? No. Didn't get the Umasawa, but that's okay. Play the Shlestos. And please grow your Hallowed Priest. That'd be nice. It'd be very nice. Because then we're just gonna take it over. It'd be very, very nice if you did that. Would like it. Would appreciate it. Let's play every life game creature and just have this as oh my god though! Ogre Battle Driver? That is beyond unexpected. Okay, well, thank you over. 
and the Badoosh. Gain the life point. Back so we don't lose anything from the freaking Hammer Priest Mad Ogre Battle Driver. Buddy, what do you have in your deck? What do you combo with this? I guess uh, you could play this with. Actually, you could play Ogre Battle Driver. Is it tokens also when I run out of the chance? But yeah, it's tokens. So you could play this with the thing which uh, creates a token for every uh, basic you have or something. That could be good. Teleportation circle. I don't see exactly what you're gonna do with that. But uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the priest. I'm gonna take your priest. Can't blink our things, luckily, because else they would come back under his control. So, okay. Six mana stone. Let's get out of this one. Teleportation circle. Okay, level up. Oh, we can return his orator. <laughs> It'll take a while, but it can soon return his own orator. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be ours. Hello, priest. Not going there and back again. Um, not going there and back again. Do we just do this on his hallowed priest? I think we do. Take it over. <laughs> just smack him down. Badoosh, badoosh. Yeah, down 13. He cannot use the Claret Claws. To return his Raider and then he can blink it with the Teleportation Circle. Not sure it's amazing. Oh well, I am sure it's amazing. That, that's how I should phrase that. I am sure that it's amazing. Uh, it will uh, not gain him any life points if it does that, but... Oh, we will, it will. It's the third part, yeah, we'll gain two life from this. But it didn't do it, okay? We'll take that action. We'll ship the Schlestos. And, uh, of course, that goes our Hallowed Priests. And since we have so many of them, I think we'll do this again. Okay? Yes, take action. Um... Okay, going them even more, we're getting huge, we're getting in for big damage, okay. <laughs> uh, by, by the way, why didn't I play this one backward? That would have been another life point. Man, would we have killed him if I... No, um, two HP away from killing him. Would have been close though, would have been close. Man, we have a lot of lands though. In a little bit of a land pocket, okay. Alright, that's kind of on there. I don't think you're gonna use that teleportation circle though. Or are you? Okay. Pacifism! Ah, that thing's not gonna move. Gonna make it small? No! No, no! no. Uh, I mean, we could just do this. Thank you. Sacrifice this little dude. Badoom. And uh, Badoom. And put a blast counter on there. And Shmaradon. Smarashnink, smarashnunk. Elves, dwarves, and mortal men in Chris's remake on <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Everybody has so many rings of power. So many freaking rings of power. I don't even know what. Life would be so weird if everybody had like 25 rings of power. Like one makes you invisible, one makes you shoot fire out of your nose, one makes you. Uh, Play Life of uh, Toshiro Umesawa every turn, <laughs> for instance. And hit one drops. Okay, no one toughness things. Main, when the. Man, when this card works out, it just feels so good. It just feels so good, because you know that they're so sad, and that makes you happy, right? Is that how things work? By comparison, if someone is worse off, you're better off, right? Well, thank you. Uh, we just gain the life points. And. Uh, Passed on. Dark Soul 89, though. So you have the thing which is gonna grow here. Big Larkin, dude. Ah, there he is. There he is, there he is. It's all shattered, let's see. Highest mana value, okay, so it's not highest power or toughness or anything. Nope. I guess back in for two here. Oh my god! Unleashes the cavalry. Man, he had one more, but he waited with it. Ah! Would've been so nice to get the double trouble with this. Would've been so nice, but it didn't happen, okay? So, uh, probably have the Schlestos here, and then we tempt him with some Oryx. And hopefully we don't get land stall there, that would be nice. Man, last time we had so many lands, I feel like. This time not so much, okay. Swamp. Man, if he has a way of killing the Schlestos though, and we don't find land. That would grovel. Maybe we should not play, ah, no, but Schlestos is better. The thing is, maybe we should play the indestructible artifacts, I think, oh my god. 
Okay. Well, not a cleric dies, you turn a cleric card with mana value. Ah, is this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Well, well this thing is coming in, surely. Oh my god, it's so big, though. Oh my, oh my, it's suicides? Sure. Okay. No. Uh, we can invoke the wind to take it over, no? I'm thinking about it. Uh, we're gonna no box it. Because we have this. Now we need one more blue. And we find one more blue. Do we take over Aura? I think we do. Could also play Invoke the Spare, which doesn't do anything. No. Uh, we're gonna take this. I'm just gonna be happy with that. And uh, no attacks. I wish we had a cleric though in Yerigo. That would be so nice. Or do we just. Mm, scam for mage though. Could deal damage equal to the number of clerics. You can also need us three clerics. That's a lot. Okay. And I think Aura dies here. We don't want to get it down. Oh my god. Even with everything. Okay. No. Oh, okay, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Took a while, but now decided on this being the correct play. Up to 13 again. Feeling kinda good about this. Um Tempted by Ulrik? Weren't you tempted by Ulrik? I remember last time you said you were tempted by Ulrik. Right? 2-3 though. Stat these stats are coming in hand there, gotta say. Keeping off life index. Keeping them away. Insane stats. Member of the Shiro. Oh my god. Uh, when we cast your second spell, you look at the top three cards of a liar, put one of them into your hand, and the rest into your graveyard, okay? Um, we can just soul shatter it, I guess. Right. Take care of this. Big do. And then we play this. Modern Age. Draw on this card. Lester's can go. And. Uh, oh, wait, we could have grafted identity. Why didn't I do that? He's probably not gonna have anything be better than that anyway. Oh, wait, you should have attacked him with this. Ah! When my, the thing is, when my misplays. When it rains, it pours, right? Whenever I start misplaying, I just misplay, 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 misplay. Just one thing after the other. Also. Okay? Go on this card. Uh, that thing can go surely. And I think it's time to take over what exactly? Orator? Maybe? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, why, why are we doing this? We can just Orik him. <laughs> As I said, when I start to misplay, I can't stop. I can't, I can't help myself. I just want to misplay and misplay and misplay and misplay. It's a spiral. It's the misplay spiral. When <laughs> I start misplaying. That's just how it is. Ah! <laughs> I play the I play the least optimal cards every time. But the thing is, because I have so many good cards in the deck, you know, it doesn't matter that I misplay every time, right? Okay, I bring over ends up gain life, you may pay two, and if you do you draw a card. Oh <laughs> Traveling Minister! End step though. You need to go to end step, buddy. Or you have to now go and just scam for a shadow mage and just dish out the damage. Can't really stop that. I guess we could block with the orator. I think we just take three. I think we just take three, and that is fine. And it paste it. Okay. And I'll get another dude. Nice. Get another life point, but another plus counter on there. Take over you. And sack like this. Very, very nice. Much right. Okay. Get another life point. Oh! I mean, you just go in for big damage now. Another seven? Couldn't really activate it yet, but next turn, maybe. We'll see. Gonna invoke some despair, though. Okay, does he have another big dude? Does he have another big dude in his arsenal? Claire Claus? Ooh, Furia, Judgment, something. Could be returned soon. Okay, we have a three, four blocker here, though. Lifelink. We could uh, buff this up. And it will. Yep. Uh, lose one life. Point. Go. Oh. Go there versus this. No. No. That doesn't make any sense. I'll turn him. Take action. Um. Shipwreck March. I don't think we need that. Got him. Two lander. The only thing that could possibly stop us is a two lander, I guess. 
The hand is not that amazing anyways, so I think you can actually mulligan and feel good about it. This is better. This is better. Keep. And we ship. Let's see, we can play both Invoke the Spear and Invoke the Winds. But since we have Turgrid, right, we ship the Invoke the Winds. Ah, uh -huh, oh my god. Yep. Put it down. Put it on. Put it in. Okay, I get it. What are you gonna, gonna play? Big, 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 big. No! I would mono level two less. We don't have a. <laughs> Dread Fugue! That's what's gonna happen, buddy. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> I think in both the wins, not gonna do anything anyway, so I think. Could be wrong. Uh, Celestus? Man, this card deck. That's, uh, that, that, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. Let's see. No blank. Really? <laughs> really though? Uh, sure. He's two. Uh, he probably also runs Turgrid. That's gonna be one guess here. Yeah, we're kind of down to nothing. Kind of down to nothing. Main, and then we miss on lands also. Yeah, on the other hand, the, the first uh, hand that we were given, I don't think that would have done much more. In all fairness, I think he's gonna have another discard card also. And I think we're so dead. I think we're so dead. But on the other hand, we kind of deserve it, because we've been kind of uh, crushing it lately, I feel like. Man, this is uh, pretty nice. So, can he sacrifice? Each place sacrifice a creature? It costs four mana, but it's, you know, it's removal and. Uh, has other purposes or other things you can do with it. Main, we can't play Invoke Despair now. Because we need four. Main. Main, that's not uh, that's not good, buddy. That's not good. <laughs> we could have actually taken over this. That would have been good. That would have been good. Didn't do it. Would have been good, but we didn't do it. Uh, I think we'll uh, draw this card now. And maybe try to dig for something here. Come to buy Ulrich. Nop! Nop! <laughs> I think this is... Maybe we will fall? Let's see. Get a good streak of cards here, maybe? Okay. That's gonna do. We press four, okay. This card is pretty decent, aren't they? And we got... I gotta say... Gotta say... Um, on our side of the board, though... <laughs> Meanwhile... In Camp Chris, <laughs> in Camp Landstall. Okay, next turn we can play it. I think it's too late, but you never know, you know, you know. You never know, but you never know, right? You never know what you never know. Uh, we take that action. Uh, I knew it was going to be a land that we didn't want next turn. I knew it. Oh, Westgate region, this is the thing which uh, buffs with <laughs> plus counters for every damage it deals. Uh, on the other hand, though, if we could somehow kill that thing, which we actually can because it costs five, right? So if we have a soul shatter, which we threw away, <laughs> we can kill it, right? That's pretty good. Uh, we'll no box it, the thing. Because uh, we're living the dream of maybe being able to steal this thing, because that's, I think, how we turn this around. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you there, buddy. You sacrifice some things. And uh, we draw two cards. We can find something good. Maybe. Maybe I should block it here, though. With a vector, I don't know. Okay, that thing is gonna go there and back again. No! Maliki Rebirth! Okay. Oh my god, an only lands. Wow! Wow! This did not. Uh, this did not go well. <laughs> Mayday! 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 Alert! Alert! Red alert! Abort! Abort mission! Abort! We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet! The small... Oh wait, oh wait, if he buffs here, we are dead. If he should control with flying... Oh, okay, he didn't buff. He could have buffed and killed us, but he had mercy, okay. Live to see another day. Maybe there's a possibility for comeback here. I don't think so. But if we find a Soul Shatter in these cards, we can actually kill the Westgate Regent. Soul Shatter! Um, is there any reason to wait with this? It does only have black, though. 
We can play that on the pod. I think we pass. I think we pass. Be wrong. I'll see. Gonna go on the smack. Okay. Uh, we'll uh, wait until he attacks in. Make him sacrifice that thing. Are we gonna turn this around? I don't think so. It's a possibility though. That we turn it around. Oh my god, he had another. That's not good. We're down to two. Down to two. Uh, maybe we didn't play this before. This is one of the three or less. Okay, well, we're we'll accurate this. There's a chance. There's a chance we're alive still. There's a chance. Okay, take action. That's not good. That's not good. Um, if we don't play a card, we are going to get one more life point out of this. But that's not going to be enough. Uh, did we ever ship a dismal... Ship to this backwater? Man, if we didn't ship the dismal backwater before. We'd have one more HP! And we could have maybe survived for one more turn. Maybe. Can we pretend that this is a dismal backwater? <laughs> maybe it doesn't attack. Maybe he doesn't attack. Who knows? Or maybe, by the way, we draw into... No, no, we didn't. Ah, uh, we draw into, into an other soul shatter. We draw into another soul shatter. Maybe he thinks we have soul shatter. That's why we're staying up. So it maybe doesn't attack him. So. No, 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 no! Ah! And Chris here. I just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And a special thank you, of course. To everybody who's just joined while I've been away, it's just amazing. Thank you for all the support, everybody. And a special thank you, as I said, to the latest members of Joined there, which are Dr. Joseph Jorgen, Ryan Shaw, Lolzd, Lee Wright, Dr. Jojo, VT, Leo Johnson, and also welcome back, people have rejoined while I've been away. It's so nice, thank you. Uh, thank you, Joan Bazais, Andrew Fellers, Kyle Highsmith, Matthias Porley, Jesse W and Al Angelina Solodo Solodova <laughs> Solodova, I think. <laughs> Can't read my own writing. Thanks so much, everybody. See you tomorrow. Hello, Daniel. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take all of the news. No, the. Those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs 0% and non-subs 100%. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.